What do you got for me, friend? Welcome. Welcome, traveler. You've come to the right shop. What can I do for you today? What do we got? Give me the goods. Broadsword. Wide and wicked. Just like Ramus. What about you? 39? 49. That is a 10 damage buff. Fuck yes. And we are broke. The rest of our party is going to be ill-equipped and we're not going to have any money. Oh, here's the statue. Let's go. Welcome to Maria. It's a great city of freedom, trade, and much wealth. Make sure you're minding your own business here. Brebiums are not... They don't like nosy people. Well, pardon et moi. Wait, what's this? Is this another weapon shop? What, what's going on here? We don't have a galleon. Will you be galleon for us? Sorry, kid. Alex only plays Dragon Master Dine. First of all, I don't appreciate you saying I play Dragon Master Dine. Welcome to the shop. Many rare weapons can be found here. What can I do for you today? Okay, okay. Fire cane, long sword. Length does matter. Hilarious. How we doing in chat? We chilling? Red, white, blue, and black. These are the four dragons, the legendary protectors of Goddess Althena. But a legend is all I believe it to be. A fairy tale made up to placate the masses. Yo, I have got some fucking news for you, my friend. We saw a white dragon. He gave us a diamond. Just saying. It's not make-believe. We met a white... Oh, we met with the white dragon at Calder Isle. Oh, really? Did you say hi to the tooth fairy while you were there? <laughs> I'll show you a tooth fairy. Dog, get the fuck out. Dog. <laughs> you're lucky you're cute. Alright. Um, what else we got going on here? That's probably where Mel is. Let me just real quick. Real quick here. Check out. There's a statue we just came from. Okay, let's just check it out. It's the grand structure of the residence of Master Mel. He deserves only the finest. Mel has an open door policy so citizens of Moravia may come and go as they please. Why don't you come inside and take a look? I guarantee you'll be impressed. I wonder if Mel's inside. We're about to find out, sister. Alright, Blairs, you go get it. Got to resupply, I understand. If, if, you're, uh, if I'm still on when you get back, come hang out. If not, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. You yeah, have a good night, man. Welcome to the entrance of hall, well, entrance hall of Master Mel's mansion. Mel is the grand ruler of Moribia. Feel free to explore the mansion, and don't be shy if you see Mel. He loves to talk. Uh, Mel is friendly, but don't be rude. He finds rudeness intolerable. Good thing we came here before Nash was with us. That dude is rude as fuck. Uh, always go left. Although, are you peeping that checkered board floor? Is this floral shop? The castle? We're going to save that for last. Um, it's probably like a help. Pardon me, so much to do, so little time. There are times when I wish I had a third arm to keep up with all the cleaning. This lady's been sniffing the fumes too long. Hey, that's awfully rude. Master Mel sent Jessica to the shrine to become a priestess, but I doubt that spoiled brat takes her studies seriously. She hasn't had work for anything in her entire life. Why should she start now? I mean... True. What's that? No, we're not having a party. All of this is for Master Mel. His appetite is almost as legendary as his strength. In his prime, the Master would have eaten twice as much. But now he's counting his calories at the request of Miss Jessica. Wow, Master Mel just became my favorite of the four heroes. Alex, do you think Nal could give Mel a run for his money? <laughs> wow, that's some serious piece of meat. You don't think Mel would notice if I took a little bite, do you? He would most absolutely notice. Don't be a fool. We are guests in this castle. Who are you? Master Mel doesn't know his daughter is a total tomboy. Whenever he's around, she puts on her innocent little girl act. She may not act like a lady, but boys still swarm to Jessica like flies to honey. Hmm, when do we get to meet this goyle? Uh, 
Did you hear those doors? Those are some heavy ass doors. What are they? What's this? Bedrolls? Who are you? Mel's a great boss and a great guy, but hasn't always been that way. He was a fearless pirate and a pirate and a fearsome warrior known only as Hell Mel. Hard to believe, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't met the guy. Aristocrat who lived in Moribia. After a secret romance with Mel, who was still a pirate captain at the time, they tried. They tied the knot. It was so romantic. I hope I find my true love someday. I think all of us do. Alex, your face is all red. You feeling okay? Oh, dude, these NPCs getting in my way. Okay, here we go. Who are you? This is Mel's conference room. The master's door is open. Go on inside. Yes, look at this floor! Sarcasmosis, are you seeing this shit? Look at this little, like, fucking sigil on the ground, too. Oh, cutscene. I'm Meldial Kirk, governor of Moribia. Since you're new here, I'll warn ya. If you dare to make any sort of trouble in my town, I'll pop your tiny little heads off your twiggy little necks and mount them on me trophy wall. Wow, dude, calm down. <laughs> Whoa, this dude is a little fucking unhinged. Inty. Ah, you scared the heck out of, you scared the heck out of me, old man. I thought my heart was gonna pop. Wah, <laughs> don't be scared. I'm just fooling with you. Now then, what brings you to me? Uh, what brings you to see me? Alex is gonna become the next Dragon Master, Master Mel. So he uh, he came here to pay his respects to one of the four heroes. I see. Ya. We have a future Dragon Master in our midst. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho! That's rich. I like a lad with ambition. There aren't enough of you around anymore. So, Alex, let's find out how serious you are. What? You're gonna be smushed like a grape. Then we'll have some wine. Wah ha ha. This dude means business. Oh, he's dragged me off. Oh shit. If you see a weakness in my defense, take advantage of it. Don't go easy on me, lad, because I won't go easy on you. <laughs> Alright. Get ready. How you like that? <laughs> yeah! Eat fire, son. Yeah! Kabooey. I'm not gonna waste any herbs here. I, I, it's gotta be a scripted fight. Like, there's no way. There we go. It's a dead man's party. Oh, not bad, Alex. You need more training, but you have plenty of potential. Potential? Alex already met with Quark and passed the first dragon trial. Quark, eh? Well done, lad. You might be on your next Dragon Master after all. But I'll still be able to kick your scurvy hide. Ho, ho, ho. You know, lad, I've got a daughter not much older than you. Your daughter's named Jessica, isn't it? Right. The girl's got a heart of gold and a soul to match. So, uh, you saying she's adopted? Ho, ho, dude with the sick burns. <clears throat> What's that? No, nothing, uh, nothing at all. She's at Althena Shrine learning to be a priestess, and she'll be a great one. You should meet her sometime. I think she'd like you as much as I do. But you're gonna have to grow up before I let you marry her, lad. Wah! Ha, 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 ha. Uh, I don't know, Alex. I think she'd be just as scary as her father. You don't say. 
I should have found him, but a good friend Callan would. He lives in vain. Better have a brave soul. I won't be allowed to wimpy lawyer. Sorry, Mel, but Alex is already taken, right, Luna? Whoa! You never know when to quit, do you? Of course not. Can I steal some of your shit? The complete friggin' moron's guide to leadership. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> 101 great ways to invest your heaping chestfuls of pyre gold. Detailed charts of the Meridian Sea and surrounding regions. Beast woman babes exposed. Ex excuse me? You had the porn, dude? It's... Your adolescent daughter and you. Rule number one, your daughter will have mood swings, the likes of which have never been seen. When she's depressed, your only options are to buy her new clothes or buy yourself new armor. Wow. I love the door sound effect. You may pass, but please be quiet. Both Mel and Jessica's bedrooms are located upstairs. Did you hear that and all? You know what? You're gonna have to speak up, Luna. Well, I don't know how Alex puts up with you. Well, isn't this cute? A boy and his monster. I'm not a monster, but I can buy like one. Say it in my fucking face. Jessica becomes more beautiful every day. She looks more and more like her mother. I can't imagine what Mel must feel every time he sees her love because it's his daughter why well, you got to be weird about it are you the new recruits why haven't you put on your armor yet move it move it move it want to aim that baritone somewhere else we're not soldiers whoops sorry about that kids this is master Mel's indoor gym members of the Viribian army come here to learn the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat and new recruits come here to discover just how much they have to learn fair deep into the sewers oh let's go Uh, well, clearly, this is, let's remember this because we're going to have to come back here, like, almost certainly. Alright. Okay, I, I, yeah, I don't need to talk to all y'all. Let's get, let's, get, let's get the show on the road. There's only one way we'll get through this door with the battering ram or credit card. Credit card? What year is it? What do you mean, fucking credit card? I don't need to talk to you. Doors locked tight in the tenement building in South Central. <laughs> Excuse me? I think that is all we have in this castle. Do do chunk chunk. Wasn't there a, a guard? No, I guess not. Nope. Okay. All right, let's go find Nash. Actually, let's go back and talk to Ramus. Where was he? Was he over here? No, I have not been here yet. What do you got for sale? Herb? Healing nut? <laughs> Cleansing water? Ooh. Yes, please. Shop is always open. Don't forget your healing nut. Every nut is a healing nut, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, look at this punk rocker. In Meribia, humans and beastmen work side by side. This is the first place I've ever lived where I haven't been affected by... Oh, prejudice or stereotypical thinking. That's awesome. Congratulations. I'm glad to hear that it's such an open and progressive city. I'm sorry I naturally judged you by the color of your hair. I feel like an asshole now. I don't need to talk to you. Where... Where was the thing? Was it here? No. Fuck. Panda! I'm lost! Ah, here it is. I think it was this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Crisis averted. Oh, wait. No, it wasn't this place. Crisis not averted. Oh, no, no, it was this place. Fuck, dude. Welcome to my store. Whether you're looking for a glass... Yeah, we already talked to this guy. Alex, it's gonna be a while before I get the price I want. But... Yo. Hurry the fuck up, my dog. I only got one life to live. 
can't spend it on negotiating. All right, let's go talk to Vane or Nash. Yeah, that's his name. Uh, who are you? I'd like to describe Black Rose Street as a compact version of Vane's Magic Guild without the elitist attitude. Not to mention the altitude. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Okay. Oh, look at this guy, dude. I want his robes. This guy looks fucking sick. Introductory wind magic. Intermediate fire magic. Butt kicking water magic. This guy knows what is up. Oh, fuck. I skipped. I'm not a pet old man. I don't like the way you say creature. May Athena strike me dead. The critter understands the language of human. Hello, I am human. You children would be doing me a huge favor if you were to sell me your amazing pet. Time to check the batteries in the hearing aid, old man. I'm not anyone's pet. Alright. You're not the dude I'm trying to find. What do we got here? Dude, those robes. That's another one. A tool shop? The fuck? Oh. Oh, he's the guy that sells the mana. A thousand? I've just been using those things all willy-nilly, too. How much do they sell for? 500! Holy shit, dude. I'm still, like, hella confused as to why I can't equip this dragon ring. You know what I'm saying? You know what we should do is give Luna that. There we go. She doesn't need all this shit either. There we go. There we go. A little inventory management never hurt anybody. What do you got? A new fortune telling shop on Black Rose Street. It's being run by a magician from Vane. I heard that she's very good at appearing into the future, and that she's heh heh very hot. Uh, Alex, why don't we ask her about the dragons? Maybe she'll know something. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good point. Yo, it's a hag. Oh my, are you lost, cat? You'll find a mice at the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> hey, I've heard that voice somewhere before. I remember now, it's the old hag. Yo, I was right! Oh, do you know my sister? She's still living out in the middle of nowhere by herself. I wish she'd come back to the Black Rose Street with me again. But she said she loved the peace and quiet of the woods. Bah! She's just too stubborn to admit she misses me. Well, probably. You need a form for the guild? You mean the magic guild? Yeah, a doctor to have priest at the shrine. Uh, uh, what shrine is that? The one for she who made our world. Althena? You mean Althena Shrine? Why does the leader of Athena Shrine have forms for the Magic Guild? A fair question. Fire can as a tool to have fire magic. Dude, all kinds of shit to buy and sell in this town. Oh, fuck. Straight up, I thought that I could wear these Kantas, or whatever they're called. Assassin's Blade from Ragnarok Online. Welcome, young adventurer! Yo, plus four defense. That's 400. Well, this is also plus four defense, and it's only 220, so. Hell yeah. It's hard to focus on chanting spells when you're out of breath from the heavy armor you're wearing. Fair dues. Alright, Panda. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Have a good sleep. And yeah, I'll see you on Friday. I'll be here streaming. Oh, shit. Fortune teller. And that... And that's what happened. I still haven't determined if singing is the key. But I have a strong suspicion that it is. Oh, fuck. Character portrait. Nash. 
Nash, your friends have come. Alex, Luna, do you think to knock before entering? Ooh, cutscene. I love this fortune teller already. We seem to have guests, but I welcome those pursuing knowledge, as always. For you see, I am a student of knowledge, past, present, and future. I can foretell many things in the future. So, let's see your future. That's why you came to me today, isn't it? What do you mean, resident sleeper? There's the fucking fortune teller hanging out. We really didn't come to learn anything in particular. We were trying to find Nash. Oh, really? From what I glimpse of your future child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of the questions you have about yourself are ones that I could answer. Hmm. And you, Alex. You seek to become the greatest hero our world has ever known. But you are too humble to be a dragon master. You are unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and family. This will be your undoing. So what's my fortune, lady? Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. It is an insult to think I would waste my energy looking into the future of a rodent. Ooh, I'm not a cat. Damn, dude. Alex Luna, have you finished your tour of the city? Having lived in the desolation of Kaldor Isle, you two must be completely overwhelmed. I'm sure you'll adjust in time, and if you don't, I'll be that much more amused. Nash, what are you asking the fortune teller about? Hoping she might know a spell to cure bad hair days? You rude little rodent. In fact, I asked her. Well, it's none of your business anyway, is it? Oh, I know what it is. You asked her to see if there's a woman in your future. <laughs> Nash wants a girlfriend. Good luck, tiger. Ooh, roasted. It's none of your business what I ask her about. I'm entitled to just as much privacy as you are. Now, then, I have several more pressing matters to discuss with Royce, so... By the way, where's your full-figured friend, Ramus? Oh, shots fired. Wasn't he going off to sell the dragon diamond? Perhaps you should find him. Ah, he's right, Alex. We should see if he's negotiated a good price yet. Is there a loved one you seek? A business matter for which you need advice? A question about an affair of the heart? Whatever your problem, I have the solution. Alex, uh, I don't know why, but I feel weird and nervous. I can reach into your future and reveal what you wish to learn of it. Of course, not everyone is prepared to embrace the hand of destiny. Anything else? No. All right. Let's go! Maybe homeboy has finally finished. Whoa. Are you creeping? You want to go on an adventure like Dragon Master Dine and you don't have um, any magic skills? Don't make me laugh! Dine was using incredible magic when he was half your age. Alex can't use magic, but he can use a sword and play the ocarina. He's practically hard. Uh, he's practiced hard to master them, and I know we can master magic, too. That's right, I play the Ocarina. And since The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time came out this year, you would know that there is incredible magic to be held in that tiny little instrument. Thank you very much. Alright, let's see what our boy Ramus is up to. <laughs> thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that, Joshua. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'll be on again uh, on Friday, same time, if you want to come uh, and continue in the festivities. Alright, here we go. You don't understand. This is a dragon diamond freshly minted from Quark's mighty keister. Yo, he shit the diamond out? It's the first time I'm hearing of it. He doesn't give these away to just anybody, you know. How am I supposed to know if this is a genuine dragon diamond? 
We've had a devil of a time with dragon zirconium lately. That's fucking funny. It seems like we've got a fool in here every day now claiming to have a genuine dragon diamond. But I will admit this is the most beautiful gemstone I've ever seen. Hey, Alex. Did you meet with Master Mel? I'm still negotiating with this guy to buy the diamond, but I might as well settle for a lot less than it's worth. I'm sorry. Like I've been telling you, young man, this is a wonderful stone, but the dragon diamond? Sorry, no. No one even knows where to find the dragons anymore, much less how to get diamonds from them. Alright, alright, how much will you give us for it? For a diamond of this caliber... Hmm, I'll give you... 20,000 silver for it. And that's my one and only offer. It's your decision too, Alex. What do we do? I think we can get more. Is that right, young man? Well, you're welcome to look around, but you're not going to find a store that can offer half as much as me. I'm the richest jeweler in Meribia. Oh fuck, I hope I didn't just make a mistake. Yeah, this is a really... this game is hella solid. Uh, this is the first time I'm picking it up since, um... Since I played it for the first time in the early 2000s. Uh, at, at first I had thought that I had played Lunar 2, but the more I'm playing this one, this might be the one I, I played. Um, I don't really remember. If this one goes well, we might end up streaming the second one too. We shall see. But it is a, an incredible game. There's so much of a, about it that I, I really love that's unique that you don't really see in many other um, JRPGs. And especially for coming out the year that it came out, right? So like Final Fantasy VII, Zelda, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, they all kind of came out around the same year, 97, 98. So I, I feel like it definitely holds its own. Listen, I'm not denying that this is a wonderful diamond, although it has an unusual smell. That's because it came from a dragon's ass. How can you expect me to believe that it's a dragon diamond, lad? Unless the dragon himself is willing to come here and back up your story, I can't pay you what I'm asking for. Please don't get upset. I know we can still do business. My offer is the same, young man. 20,000 for your lovely diamond. Alex, I think we should take his offer before he changes his mind. Alright, I guess, I guess I should buy it. Right? It feels like Ramus won't leave this place until I do. So, fuck it. <laughs> Excellent. I'll go into the back and get your money. Hand over the diamond so I can put it into my safe. Oh fuck, we're about to get swindled. Gabe Dragon Diamond. Everyone said this dude looked shady. We're about to get so swindled. Oh no! I didn't realize it took so long to count 20,000 silver, Alex. Maybe it's too heavy for him to carry out all at once. No, dude. We just gotta rip the fuck off. Alex, something's wrong. Dross? Hello? Where are you? Alex, Ramus, Dross is gone and so is the Dragon Diamond. We've been had! Fuck it. God damn it. Please don't hurt me, I just started working here. I, I don't know anything, I don't know anyone. Uh, why don't you go talk to Master Mel? Maybe he can help you. That's a good, good plan. Oh, this is all my fault, Alex. I know I, I, I should have known Dross was a con from the start. I got cocky because I was able to catch Brett. I'm so sorry. Hard lesson to learn, indeed. But we had no choice. In order to progress the story, we had to, we had to be swindled. Oh my God, it's Brett, the swindler. I've been scoping out Dross' store for weeks, coming up with the perfect plan to rob a blind. Then I stumbled upon the secret passage in the sewers. Let's go. I decided today is the day to pull the job, so I hid in here and waited. Then Dross runs past me, clutching the biggest diamond I've ever seen. I had a sewage worker's alibi all, all ready. But he was so happy with the giant jewel that he didn't even notice me. This, had, this day has been so weird that I just had to tell someone about it. Alex, this guy's a thief. Shouldn't we tell someone about him? We don't have time, doll. The longer we stay here, the bigger the lead Dross gets with our diamond. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Are these the sewers? Oh, the music! So good. Okay, these are the sewers. Before we come in here, 
let us go back and talk to Mel. And then we shall... Maybe... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Depends on what happens. Oops, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. 